ready to hunt. And a big test coming for one of the Tar Heels' best as they trail in this dual meet against eighth-ranked Virginia Tech. This is the tail of the tape at 184, a top 11 showdown. Two wrestlers amongst the hottest in the nation to this weight class. That's for sure. 13 in a row for Gavin Kane. Hunter Bolin also strong in his last 11. They're familiar with one another through their careers, and they're set to go again here at 184. Gavin Kane. Hunter Bolin, 15 and 4 this season. And here is Gavin Kane, 19 and 4 this season, 3 0 in ACCs. Last defeat against Aaron Brooks of Penn State all the way back on December the 19th. Bolin has dropped two in a row, including being pinned in 353 by Reese Heller of Pitt in his last action. That was his first loss via fall since, get this, his freshman year against the national champion Mark Hall of Penn State. He's now a grad student. It's been a while. It's rare. Just a grand student, a sixth year. One of those guys using the extra year of eligibility. Thanks to competing during the COVID year. He's the 2018 ACC Kane freshman Ryan of the Ellen year. Match jump against a sophomore in Kane. As we just showed you, 13 wins in a row. Most recently against Reese Heller. Second year starter looking to stay unbeaten against Bolin. Scott said that Kane is just so much better mentally this year than he was last year. That's what he attributes so much of his success to. But he's had quite a bit of success as you see against Bowling. 2 0 all time, both overtime wins. That mental toughness, Coleman Scott's in every match for Kane, even in the win streak, has been a mental grind. Yes, he's majored some guys, but. You look at his last two wins, 6-4 over Neil and Tressing of Virginia, 6-3 over Heller of Pitt, who pinned Bolin. Bolin has had a little bit of time off with the back-to-back -back ranked losses. Tony Roby says he cannot let those two affect him. In, and then before it, a sudden victory defeat against Trent Heidley of NC State. As Tony Roby said, he wrestled great, Bolin did, for 645, but allowed Heidley to force the extra time, and then ultimately, in sudden victory, the number three wrestler in the country earns the win. It's that final 15 seconds that can get you. Make no mistake about it, they believe in that program, and Hunter believes he can beat anybody in the country. This is a good challenge for him today as we approach the postseason against 11th ranked Gavin Kane. Starting to see the action heat up here in the final minute of this first period after a feeling out process. Shot wanked away. Uh, tries to throw and does secure the takedown. Hunter Bolin draws first blood. Kane not in an advantageous position to try and earn an escape point here before the period comes to a close. Bolin will ride him out. Through three minutes, 2 nothing oh, advantage for Hunter Bolin. These are two of the best in the nation. You see Trent Hodley, like you said, he's ranked three uh, in America right now. But, man, 184 is going to be fun to watch uh, in Raleigh in a couple of weeks. Yeah, you look at the fact that someone who's in the top 20 nationally is going to end up being the five seed. <laughs> Currently, the lowest name on that list, Reese Heller at 17. We've mentioned his name is Hunter Boland's last competitor who pinned Boland. Also, Gavin Kane's last competitor who fell 6-3 against Kane. But man, you just see the depth of the ACC. It is so good between Virginia Tech, North Carolina, and, of course, NC State and Pitt, who are wrestling right now as we speak. More of the nation's best programs reside in this conference. 
Tony Roby emphasized that this is a really good uh, barometer to see where they are at this point of the season, so close to the postseason. There is the leg sweep and the takedown for Bolin. 5 nothing edge for Hunter. Fanuc Matt return to control this match. Look at the leg sweep here. The left ankle. Swing had control of the right. Took out the left and earns the two. Third meeting between these two. There's caution of the restart against Bolin. Kane leads the series 2-0. Both matchups were last season. One of them at the ACC Championships, both in overtime. A sudden victory win, a tiebreaker win for Kane. But right now it's Bolin in the advantageous spot. Bolin nearly had some back points. time reaching a minute now strong ride for Bolin after the takedown already tonight at even Tresca Virginia Tech has ended Jack Wagner's win streak which was six coming in Hunter Bolin ends Gavin King's win streak Sits at 13. Two minutes remaining. Can Kane make it 14 in a row? Or will Bolin end the streak and in doing so pick up his first win against Gavin Kane? Bolin adding to that riding time now over a minute and a half. Approach the final two weight classes. Any sort of victory for Virginia Tech would seal the duel for the Hokies. Running time points secure for Bolin, so in effect, he's up 6-0. Need to score again for bonus points, but with him in control right now, you'd have to release Kane, so it would be in, his, in essence scoring twice. But as you said, John, Virginia Tech is so close to the dual victory, bonus points perhaps not the number one focus right now. Rather, for Bolin, it's just maintaining this control for now what's about half a minute remaining. Three points and a decision would do it. 20. Two to eight with just two weight classes left after this. And Hunter Bolin will just ride things out. These two have battled in some absolute classics, including a postseason match, both in favor of Kane. But today, a different story. Hunter Bolin, victorious, and in doing so, ends Gavin Kane's 13-bout win streak, 6-0 the final. And with that, Virginia Tech claims the dual meet over North Carolina. What an emphatic bounce back by Hunter Bolin. He was rolling with nine in a row, dropped back-to-back -back bounce. 